More than four out of 10 people in the Colorado Hispanic community now have had at least one dose of the vaccine. That's less than have the percentage of the overall population. Cardio News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live in our newsroom with what Southern Colorado community leaders are doing to help. Jasmine. One community leader who has been a huge advocate for the Hispanic population to get vaccinated is bringing another uh, equity clinic to Southern Colorado next month. The upcoming clinic is one of the new solutions to grow the number of Southern Colorado Latinos to get vaccinated. Uh, my numbers are hundreds every time we organize this equity clinic. So I believe that this is a high need. 38.94% of Hispanics in Colorado have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. That is the lowest percentage of all the demographic groups in the state. I believe that this is a high need. My community has speak up and say that they want to be approached with dignity and respect. They also want to be approached in after hours settings with cultural relevant messages. And that's what we're bringing to them. Julissa Soto, vaccine activist, has been at the forefront of pushing the knowledge of the vaccine to Latino populations and bringing the shot to several communities across the state, including Southeast Colorado Springs. She says her reason to continue these equity clinics is because she believes they are working slowly but surely. In any given weekend, I'm vaccinated between 1,000 to 1,200 um, immigrants, Latinos. I am getting those who were reluctant to get their vaccines, but now they have changed their mind. They see me every weekend. Her passion and persistence to get those who may have trouble accessing health care uninsured or are just simply scared due to their lack of knowledge is what pushes her to continue this work. The new community effort equity clinic will be at Sand Creek Library on Sunday, March 6, where they will be offering all COVID vaccines for kids and adults. Reporting live in the studio, in the newsroom, Jasmine Arenas for Caridio News Channel 13. All right, Jasmine, thank you.